for this art lesson, we're going to draw this beautiful butterfly. And what you need for this project is you're going to need your crayons and some paper. But of course you can do this with just pencil if you want. All right, so the first step is to understand a little bit of science. We need to understand that a butterfly has three body parts called the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And we also need to understand that the butterfly has four wings, two on the top and two below. And then whatever happens on this side of the wing happens on that side. Okay, so let's start. The first thing you want to do is take a piece of paper and fold it in half. And then unfold it. And this creates the halfway part. Now, we're going to draw the three body parts called the head, thorax, and abdomen. And we're going to make these a little bit bigger because we're going to make some big butterflies that take up the whole piece of paper. So the size of the parts I'm making are about the size of a quarter, 25 cents. We're going to start with the thorax, which is the middle part. And I'm going to draw a thorax right on the middle of the paper. Right on the folded line or the crease. And it's about the size of a quarter. Maybe bigger. After you draw your thorax, you're going to draw your head. And that also is the size of a quarter. So we'll start with the thorax because it's in the middle. And then the head and the abdomen is the third part. And we'll put that below the thorax. It's the largest part of the butterfly's body. Probably about the size of both the head and the thorax combined. And I'm going to color this in with some light coloring. You can do that if you wish or save this for later on when you're designing and coloring your butterfly. Okay, now we'll begin some of the uh, steps to doing whatever happens here, happens there. For instance, if I was gonna draw some sunglasses on my butterfly, I'd want a circle on this side and a circle on that side. And I'll color those in. Give them some sunglasses. These do not have to be realistic butterflies. They can be make-believe or they can be as real as you want. For instance, I'm putting a big juicy smile on his face like that. I don't think butterflies have enormous smiles on their faces like that. And now to finish off, the butterfly's body will have two antennas. Remember, whatever happens on this side of the folding line happens on that side of the folding line. So, an antenna going this way, an antenna going that way. And if you should put lights on the end of the antenna, yes, these are imaginary once again. They can have little red lights that shine. Both sides are exactly the same. And I'll finish off the bottom by just coloring in the inside shape of the thorax, which is the middle section, and we'll call the body complete. The next step is going to be the wings. Now it's time to draw some wings on our butterfly. And the basic rules apply. Whatever happens on this side is going to happen on that side. There are four wings. The wings start from the thorax. So this is the thorax, this is the head, and that is the abdomen. The thorax is right here. Put your crayon on the top of the thorax. And then with your crayon, head towards the corner of your paper to draw the first edge of the wing. When you get to the corner, make a quick turn and head back down. You can make the wing line a little bit curvy if you like. When you get to below the thorax, you want to curve it back towards the thorax. Repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So whatever happens on this side, happens on that side. Start with your crayon at the top of the thorax. Aim towards the corner. Quick turn once you reach the corner. Small wiggly line. When you get below the thorax, head back to the thorax. So you need to understand that science to draw these awesome butterflies. Now, 
pick a different color for the lower leg. Okay? Butterfly wings overlap each other. The upper wing overlaps the lower leg. So, to do this, we're going to put a dot at the corner of the top wing. Find that space right there. From that corner, head down towards the corner of the paper. It's the opposite from the upper wing. Make a quick turn and again head back to the thorax. That's where all the wings begin. Now you can't see the whole wing because half of it's underneath the top wing. It would look like this if you could see it. Repeat that same process on the opposite side. Put a dot over in the corner. Head down towards the corner of your paper and head directly back to the thorax. You now have your butterfly wings complete. Let's move on to the next step. And now the final step of our butterfly is to do the design. So everything that happens on this side of the butterfly is going to happen on that side. So what you want to think about is your shapes, colors, and lines that are the same on both sides. And we call that symmetry in art, when something's the same on both sides. So if you should draw a large circle on this wing, you want to draw a large circle on that wing. It's simple. Whatever happens here, happens there. Again, the word is called symmetry.